So I hope you are excited to start with the fourth episode. This episode is going to be super simple. The only rule that you need to follow is watch the complete lectures and make proper notes if you want. Okay, don't spend so much time making notes. Just write down the pointers and watch the complete lecture with focus and for sure you will be able to master recursion after completing this particular course. Okay, so now we have a very simple question to find the power of a number. We will be given a number, we will be given the power and we need to find x raised to the power n. Okay, so uh, let me write down the problem here. It's a very simple problem. You, you can even pause the video and try it uh, yourself. You will find all the links in the description to the coding platform. Okay, so here we have to find the power of x n. So how would you break down into similar kind of problems? So while solving a problem, if we think that, okay, this particular problem could be broken down into a similar kind of problem then we apply recursion okay so here what would i think obviously i would the first intuition would be okay i can use a for loop okay i can use a for loop maybe i can use an inbuilt in inbuilt power function in c plus plus maybe in other languages there are inbuilt power functions as well we don't have to use it because interviewers are not going to allow us to use that okay another way could be using iterations for loops I, obviously i can use a for loop if i am given x raised to the power n i can use a for loop started with one till n and keep multiplying x to itself x into x into x into x n times but here we need to use recursion we need to learn recursion that's why i would think recursively how would you think recursively okay so i need to find x raised to the power n what if i get x raised to the power n minus one somehow okay finding x raised to the power n and finding x raised to the power n minus one is similar kind of problem is a problem of same nature could be solved using same function then why don't we make use of the same function okay we are writing a function power to return us the power x raised to the power n now in place of n i can put any number right i can put five i can put four three two one any number that i want it is going to give me the correct answer for that number and that's why we will use recursion here and okay let us just jump to the coding part you will be able to understand it much better there so i'm going to again calculate the partial answer partial answer is equal to someone give me the answer for x raised to the power n minus one and who is that someone the same function power x comma n minus one we got the answer okay we trust that this function is the trust is most important thing here trust that this function is going to give me correct answer and now i got the answer for x raised to the power n minus one now what should i do i know the answer for x raised to the power n minus one i can simply return x multiplied by x multiplied by this partial answer and i would get my answer okay the base condition is missing here what would be the base condition so x uh, so n will go to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. It should stop at 0. It should not go, it should not go below 0. It should not go to minus 1. So if n is equal to equal to 0, that means I should stop here. What is x raised to the power 0? It is 1, right? That's why I should return 1 from here. I should return 1 from here. Okay, so I think I have the correct answer, but here the partial answer should be of type long, long, not of integer because it could be large. Let me submit this and 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 I got the correct answer okay now draw the recursion tree for this let's go and draw the recursion tree although we don't need to draw the recursion tree in every lecture but here is a very interesting thing that I, that I want to show here 3 raised to the 5 okay so 3 comma 5 will make a call to 3 comma 4 will make a call to 3 comma 3 it will make a call to 3 comma 2 it will make a call to 3 comma 1 it will make a call to 3 comma 0 and here it will stop from here it will return 1 okay from here it will return 3 multi x multiplied by 1 the 3 multiplied by 1 that is equal to 3 and from here it will return 3 multiplied by 3 that is equal to 9 from here it will return 3 multiplied by 9 that is equal to 27 from here it will return 3 multiplied by 27 that is equal to 3 raised to the power 4 now now 3 again will be multiplied to this and will be 3 raised to the power 5 and we will get the answer okay so this is the entire recursion tree it is very linear in structure there are n number of nodes here n number of nodes where n is equal to this 
this particular variable n so big o of n is the time complexity because these many nodes are there and what is the height of the tree the height of the tree is also big o of n so it is big o of n this is the space complexity this is the space complexity the height of the tree and this is the time complexity the number of nodes inside the tree can you do better than this just think of it just let me know just pause the video and think of it uh, instead of breaking down the problem into n minus 1 can you do something else all right i know it was tricky so basically we broke down the problem of power of x raised to the power n so it was power of x raised to the power n we calculated it like this x multiplied by power of x raised to the power n minus 1 which is okay which is fine but we got a very bad complexity not very bad but we go fine we can do much better than this we can break down it like this so basically power of x is equal to power of x comma n by 2 multiplied by power of x comma n by 2 okay which will give us a recursion tree a huge recursion tree but why to calculate it again we already calculated right so just store it somewhere so okay i will i will show you the help of the code here so let's go to the code so what i mean is uh, i'm just going to calculate int temp a temporary variable equal to power of x n by 2 okay and if i have x raised to the power n by 2 i can simply return the answer as temp into temp done there are few conditions that we need to handle here there are few conditions i will let you know what those conditions are uh, we need to handle the case of odd and even but this is the whole idea this is the whole idea just have a look at it so we calculated x raised to the power n by 2 and how does it help i will show you the help of the recursion tree okay so come here we started with 3 raised to the power 5 we went to 3 raised to the power 5 divided by 2 that is 5 divided by 2 is equal to a, in form of integers it will be equal to 2 okay so we went to 3 uh, raised to the power 2 and then we went to 3 raised to the power 1 and then we went to 3 1 divided by 2 is 0 so 3 raised to the power 0 okay from 5 it is 5 divided by 2 it is 2 divided by 2 and it is 1 divided by 2 so uh, we reduce the number of recursive calls we reduce the number of nodes in the recursion tree okay and you might think that it is a very minute change from how many nodes uh, one two three four five six six nodes we went to one two three four nodes there's a very min very minute change but in the case when n is very large this change is going to impact us a lot i will show you with the help of an equation as well okay just hold on for that so we reduce the problem to n raised to the power uh, x raised to the power n divided by 2 all right but let us quickly code it and uh, handle those odd and even cases so here let's say if x is an odd number so odd number divided by 2 let's say 7 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3 we will get x raised to the power 3 and this temp is equal to x raised to the power 3 when x uh, when n was 7 it is x raised to the power 3 temp multiplied by temp will be x raised to the power 6 so in the case when this n is odd we need to return something else we need to return we need to multiply it by x once more okay so if n modulo 2 is equal to 1 that means if it is odd we have to return temp into temp temp into temp into x otherwise we have to return temp into temp in the case of even so let's say when uh, n is equal to 10 x raised to the power n divided by, by 2 will be equal to x raised to the power 5 okay temp is x raised to the power 5 and when n is equal to even so temp multiplied by 10 is equal to x raised to the power 10 so yeah i think this is it uh, the base condition is remaining what should be the base condition so again if n is equal to 0 that means x raised to the power 0 we need to return 1 from here that's it let me run this it is improving the complexity oh okay and this should be long long and uh, yeah I forgot to add the return statement here let me submit this and we got the right answer but with much better complexity okay uh, let us analyze the complexity with the help of a huge n so let's go here so let's say uh, the n was 64 if the n was 64 
So what would be the recursion tree for the previous solution? It would be a recursion tree with the with the height 64, right? With the height 64. So we are going to have uh, how many nodes in that recursion tree? We are going to have 64 nodes in that recursion tree. So big O of n will be the space complexity, big, big O of n will be the time complexity as well. But now let us try to see this solution. So in this solution, we will go from 64 to 64 divided by 2 is 32. From 32, we will go to 16. From 16, we will go to um, 8 from 8 we will go to 4 from 4 to 2 to 1 1 to 0 so all this will be the height of the recursion tree this will be the height of the recursion tree and this will be the number of nodes in the recursion tree so it is much less right it is much less than 64 so now let us generalize this so we are going from n to n by 2 from n by 2 to n by 4 so on till 1 so again it is a geometric progression with a common ratio as 1 by 2 1 by 2 is the common ratio here so uh, we need to find the number of steps it took to reach one from n. So we can write it like this n divided by 2 raised to the power 0, n divided by 2 raised to the power 1, n divided by 2 raised to the power 2, so on till n divided by 2 raised to the power k. And we need to find this k. How many steps did it take to reach this one? We need to find this k. So n divided by 2 raised to the power k is equal to 1 comparing this. Okay. So this is equal to this this is equal to this and this is equal to this so this is equal to this uh, now n is equal to 2 raised to the power k taking log on both the sides log of n is equal to log of 2 raised to the power k uh, and you know this logarithmic property when something is in power it will come to the multiplication so it will be equal to log of n is equal to k into log of 2 okay and we need to find k so k is equal to log of n divided by log of 2 log of n divided by log of 2 which is equal to log of n with the base 2 log of n with the base 2 is the number of steps it takes for n to reach 1 and that many number of nodes are there and that will be the height of the tree so log of n is the height of the tree and log of n is the number of nodes inside the tree and that is the space and time complexity as well so we reduce the space complexity and time complexity from big o of n to log of n which is a very good improvement here so this is the power of recursion. Obviously, you can do this with the help of all loops and while loops, but I prefer recursion for this particular solution. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. I hope you are understanding things. If you are not, you can obviously repeat the lecture and watch it again. Try to digest thing and try to give your mind rest after watching the lecture. Try to think upon it. What are the things that you learn? Mention it. Don't hurry up. Don't watch lectures one after another. And that's the reason why I'm uploading this these lectures one by one. Let us meet in another episode. Bye-bye.